Second line of defense, inflammatory response. On human skin surface, there are millions of microbes, such as bacteria and viruses. And when the skin is exposed to the occurrence of an injury, this leads to the entry of microbes into the body tissues, where some cells of the immune system, such as mast cells and basophils, move towards the area of injury. On the surface of bacterial cells, there are antigens, and on the surface of mast cells and basophils, there are receptors through which the antigens of bacteria are organized, and then they bind to them and secrete a substance that is called histamine. This substance spreads in the area of injury, reaching the blood vessels, and causes the inflammation where histamine leads to the dilation of blood vessels and increase their permeability to blood with large amounts. And the permeability of blood capillaries walls increases to allow the passage of some components of blood plasma, including fluids, macrophages, monocytes, and neutrophils. And the exit of this fluid causes the swelling of tissues at the area of injury. Macrophages move towards the microbe, engulf and disintegrated by enzymes that are stored in the lysosomes and the remains of microbe are expelled outside the macrophages. We can examine one of the macrophages to identify its components and its ability to engulf the microbes and foreign bodies that entered the body through the injury.